Let's make some strawberry top jelly together. So first things first, you're gonna want to wash all of your strawberries and then cut the tops off and set them to the side. Next, be sure that you have your jars in the oven. I like to put them in my toaster oven to keep them nice and hot while I'm making my jelly. Now you're gonna put all of your tops into a pot and cover with water. Put your burner on medium heat and bring your strawberries to a boil. I like to cook them until my strawberries start looking really pale and pretty weird and gross. Like they don't look good anymore. At that point, most of the flavor and all of the coloring is now in your liquid versus in the strawberries themselves. You're also going to want to have all of your lids in a separate pot and bring those to a simmer just so that they're nice and hot when it's time to put your jelly in jars. Alright, it is now time to strain all of that delicious liquid into a bowl. Be sure you strain and measure your liquid so you know how much pectin to use. I use a low or no sugar pectin, and for that type of pectin, you wanna go ahead and add your lemon or lime juice into your liquid along with the pectin and mix that in really well. And then you're going to turn your stove back on and bring your liquid to a rolling boil. You want it at a rolling boil that cannot be stirred down, like you want it to really be going. All right, now that we are at a rolling boil, we're gonna go ahead and add in our sugar. I end up adding about a cup and a half to this amount of juice. We're gonna stir that in really good and you're going to continuously stir until you reach a rolling boil a second time. Once you reach that rolling boil, for the second time, you're gonna set your timer for one minute and let it boil for a full minute again continuously stirring for that minute you do not want to stop it doesn't it takes a lot less time than what it feels like it takes Once your timer goes off, it's time to bring your pot over to the counter. I always put something down to protect my counter from the heat and pull out a few jars at a time. You're gonna mix all this in. You can skim this foamy stuff off the top, but it does not change the flavor or the look of your jelly once everything cools, so I just leave it in there. I'm gonna fill my jars up, leaving a one inch head space, and then I will wipe the rims with a paper towel that has been dampened with vinegar. I'll go ahead and put my hot lids on and I am just doing the open kettle method which means I start with hot jars, hot liquid, hot lids, close everything up and I'll leave it on the counter to cool and all of my jars will seal properly. Now if you want to process you can water bath this mixture in your water bath canner for 10 minutes. It's totally up to you and what you feel most comfortable with.
And that is it. This is a great way to use up those strawberry tops that would normally go out to the chickens or just get tossed in the trash can. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like content like this, please be sure to hit the like and follow button and I will see you guys later. Bye!